Hi everyone, welcome back to Style by Lauren Ryder. I am back at it. We are going thrifting. I have spring on my mind, but I'm definitely open to finding anything today. So let's go ahead and check it out and see what we can score. You know I had to start off in the accessories and I loved this nautical handbag with the anchor on it and the rope detail. I always love checking out what handbags they have first because it's the easiest way to accessorize. I loved this clear tote too. I thought that would have been so cute with like a scarf on the inside or even putting like a designer handbag in there so you could see it. Of course, I loved this mini polka dot bag. Again, that would look so cute just hanging off your belt loop. Um, tons of mini bags, another polka dot mini bag that I loved. Then I moved on to jewelry. These red enamel nautical inspired earrings stood out to me. Then I moved on to clothing and this black and white top was so cute. I loved the little floral cutout print on it. And I'm looking at the long sleeve tops right now. That's kind of my easiest go-to. It was time to try on. You can see the story of the day is definitely lots of red and leopard print. So here I am about ready to try on. I found a Ralph Lauren turtleneck, a ton of leopard print, and you can see by my cart, I loved anything nautical inspired. Then I decided I wasn't done for the day, so I hit up my local Goodwill and I loved this shell handbag. Kind of read a little bit more summer to me though, so I left that behind. Again, I love anything nautical, so the stripes and then this gingham Talbot's cardigan was so fun. And I'm still looking at tops. Anything polka dot uh, draws me in. I liked this Forever 21 top, but quality was not good. So I left that. These gingham shorts were so perfect. I loved the color, but unfortunately they weren't my size. So I had to pass on those. Um, but then I decided to try on. This is a mint and white stripe button down. Button downs are just so easy for the spring and summer. So I thought I would pick this up. I'm also trying on a straw hat that I found too that was kind of like a peach ribbon on it. And the next item I'm trying on is this crazy park ranger type style vest that has like a park ranger patch on it. I thought it was so unique. I'm not sure if it's real or, or what it is. I wanted to do a quick haul of the things that I've recently purchased from Goodwill and Savers. So the first piece you guys saw me try on at Goodwill and it is this oversized mint green and white button down by Casablanca. I love how oversized it is. I love the pocket detail. And something like this, I love pairing with other pastel colors, like for accessories. Like I love even with like the hat that I'm wearing or like a pastel blue hat or even a yellow. So this I plan on wearing with some shorts and I like kind of playing around with how you button it. And this was brand new with tags and $8.99. So that was a good find. The other piece that I picked up from Goodwill is this MM Couture uh bolero and it is just a black and copper sequin little crop jacket super lightweight but if this one was brand new with tags and i love how lightweight it is and you know i love a sequin and a stripe so this i know i'm gonna get a lot of use out of and this one i want to say was like 12 dollars. the next piece that i picked up is this amazing floppy hat. So I saw the most recent Chanel Runway show where they had like the huge pink hats with the pins on it. And the very next day was when I went thrifting and I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, it was meant to be. I absolutely love it. So it's just this oversized straw hat. Um, it has kind of a adjustable brim so I could wear it flipped up like that too. And I love the bow on the side. And it just needs a little steam. It looks like obviously someone had packed it in their suitcase or something like this. But this I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of. And it's so much fun. Oh, and this I think was $4.99. And then the next piece that I picked up, you guys also saw me try on at Goodwill. So sometimes when you go thrifting, you see a piece that almost challenges you in 
how you want to style something. So this is one of those pieces. I saw it and I thought, hmm, how could I style this in a way where I would, you know, make it look different than what it actually is. So this is actually, it looks like a park ranger vest. It has a patch that says volunteer adopt a park, Orange County Parks on it. And it, it looks very much like a park ranger jacket or even like a Girl Scout vest or something. And I know even when I checked out, the cashier was like, oh, that's a weird piece. And I'm like, I know, but I see potential in it. I imagine putting a bunch of different pins on this or even putting a bunch of bows on it and then wearing it with a bunch of layered pearl necklaces or chunky jewelry or even like my glitter knee high boots. But this I am going to challenge myself to style. And I think it's such a unique piece that I, I want to make it. I want to make it look cute. Um, and this was $3. And then the next piece that I picked up is this little striped raffia bag. This is by Liz Claiborne and it is, you know, just a tan and black stripe. I've worn this so many times already and I've put pins on the handle and I've tied a bow on the handle. I absolutely love this and it was $2.99. It's the most perfect size. It fits my phone, my wallet keys, just, you know, the necessities and it's so lightweight and I love the stripes. And then the next piece that I picked up is this oversized scarf from Savers. You can tell I'm very into nautical at the moment. Um, it's just a white and navy striped scarf with like a rope detail and an anchor on it. And I plan on wearing this actually like as a head scarf in my hair or even I could wear it, you know, as a scarf around my neck. Um, but this one I think was $4.99. I love anything nautical at the moment. You guys also saw me find these nautical inspired red enamel earrings. These are so much fun. I can imagine wearing these with, you know, a sailor hat or something like that and going full nautical um, or even just like my striped shirt that I'm wearing right now. These would be so cute. And these I think were like $4.99 from Saver. The last piece that I picked up is also from Savers, and it is this Castleberry knit jacket. It actually is part of a suit, so it came with a matching skirt too, but I just want to wear the jacket right now. But it is this black and red textured knit jacket. It is so Chanel inspired. I actually tried it on in store, and another customer um, came up to me and was like, oh, you have to get that. It's so Coco Chanel. And I'm like, I know, I love it. Um, the only thing with this jacket is it's missing all of the buttons. So I don't know if whoever donated it, you know, kept all the buttons, but easy fix for me. I already know how I'm going to style it. I'm going to put a bunch of pins on there and some bows and you won't even notice it. And this I think was $11 for the full suit. And I am absolutely obsessed with the color. So I know I will love wearing this. Those are the most recent finds that I have thrifted. Again, I apologize for the short video. I will be back next week with some more fashion content. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And follow my Instagram at style by L Rider for more fashion content and to see how I style these fun pieces. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week.